Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'da. Habitu fillah, the question was asked, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Are there any useful, is there any useful support that can be given to a brother on Arabic language? I've studied the Arabic Medina series, Ajrumiya, which is a book in grammar, and Sarf books. Please, can you provide advice on which Arabic books I should study to improve my reading and to translate? In addition, how to improve my listening skills currently? I do understand to an extent, such as Sheikh Saleh Al Fawzan and others. Jazakallah khairan. What uh, First and foremost, <clears throat> we've uh, talked about these in various ways on, on countless occasions or on many occasions. And all, all I will say is this, as the Arabs say, as a proverb, I guess you would call it, they say, من جد وجد ومن زرع حسد that whoever Whoever strives will attain something. So they're going to attain, you're going to attain something when you strive. And by planting something, you will harvest something. So meaning that you, Walilah Alhamd, have studied, mashallah, tabarakah uh, ta'ala, a lot of uh, excellent books in, for the Arabic language to give you a, a good foundation. Basically, it's about time, meaning that you continue to study. You continue to read. If you want to improve your reading, you're going to improve it through reading skills. This is how we acquire language, one of the ways that we acquire uh, a language. So by continually reading Arabic books, books at your level, books that you can understand, and if, and if it need be, and I used to find a lot of benefit myself when I was in Yemen at one time, time uh, when I was studying grammar I used to get frustrated I was like you know hey I'm getting good at, at Arab you're giving me all these sentences for the science of how to determine the tashkil and things like this but I couldn't understand a basic sentence and my teacher may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him and I hope he's okay there in Yemen uh, in Aden at this particular time he was a uh, he was like a I don't know if he was a high, I think he was a high school teacher, or he may have been a, a, a second, a, a, um, a teacher in middle school, and a, a teacher of Arabic language, so he used to give me private lessons, and I learned so much in that short period of time when I was studying with him, and he, uh, and he used to bring me the books that they used from grade school in Yemen, from their grade school in like uh fourth, fifth, sixth grade, you know, these kind of books. I learned so much. I still have some of those books somewhere in my books in America. And they were fantastic for building up some basic vocabulary that I didn't have. And, you know, they're grammatically correct. So it's a good practice of the gr grammar. And those books, I love those books, really. I, I love those books. And I used to, you know, I kept them and they had questions because they were for the level of my actual understanding when you're reading the dean books this is something different this is uh depending on what types of books you're reading the level could be very very high the mustalahat the terms used could be very uh complex and could be from a particular time period and all of that it just requires continual study and it requires study with the ulama of course when you're getting into those books of, uh, of the ulama, you know, if you're reading Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah books aside from Aqidah al-Wasatiyah and stuff like this, you're going to need, you know, you need to study with ulama and go over, you know, to get a, a really understanding and a grasp of the language that he's using and how, uh, and the context of what he's speaking about, and especially intricate things about al-asma'i wa sifat, the divine names and attributes of Allah Azza wa Jal. So, with that being the case, uh, it's just by being continuous. It's by being, it's mumarasa. It's by, by continual study, continual reading. You know, I find, and one of the reasons why I began teaching on YouTube is because it helped me to implement what I was learning. Otherwise, I would forget everything. Okay? But this has allowed me a platform for practicing and a platform 
for revision and a platform for exploration of issues and research. So it's uh, so really by teaching and just continual reading, it's going to improve. So my thing, my basic uh, point for you and people in your situation, give it time and continue. Continue listening. It's going to come. One day you're going to be so surprised that you understand much more and much more. You're going to recall those days when it's like, whoa, I used to get stuck and I used to be so frustrated. That's just a part of the process. So continue and you're going to see that overcome and perhaps, and depending on how strong you are in those books you've already studied, and my advice is to make revision of them and get very grounded and memorize because that's going to give you a solid foundation. I myself, because I didn't memorize a lot of uh, text and didn't memorize, I see where the shortcomings, a lot of things I need to go back and study really almost from the beginning. Some basic things that I forget and that I studied may have had a grasp of years ago. I'm going to have to go back when I want to go forward and, uh, you know, just for revision and, and getting back on, 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 tr on, on point and especially if I want to teach those things. So my point being is being continual in your study. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our good.